The ban on the importation of plastic bags into Antigua and Barbuda was one of the most seminal moments of 2016. The move not only helped to raise awareness on the effects of plastic on the environment, both land and sea, but is also critical towards lessening the material at dump sites. But while this in itself has been heralded as a progressive step, there is another area of concern as expressed by Minister Joseph. I hope the Little Act will have the necessary teeth that people who are bitten once will not have any need to be bitten a second time. We are going to make this act very punitive. It is not right for those of us who exercise discipline to respect our environment are undermined by people who recklessly throw their litter all over the place, Mr. Prime Minister. The minister spoke from a personal vantage point, having made a financial investment to assist in the cleaning of litter from a particular area. He bemoaned that the garbage returns all too soon, a situation which he strongly condemned. And it is situations such as this that have given rise for the need for a revision of the Litter Act to amend certain clauses. Further, residents are being encouraged to report litter bugs for which they will likely receive a financial reward. Extensive efforts have been made and are still being made to keep the island clean, including a massive cleanup campaign set for early in the new year. This is Aisha Caleb reporting for ABS News.